Our next topic is about division of fractions. To divide fractions, we write the division as a related multiplication in which we multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. Our example is 3 over 7 divided by 3 over 5. So, isulat natin siya ng ganito. So, this is our dividend and this is our divisor. So, 3 over 7 divided by 3 over 5. So, sabi dito, we write division as a related multiplication in which we multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So, reciprocal means the product of two numbers is 1. So, this is our divisor. So, hahanapin natin yung number na pwede natin i-multiply sa kanya para maging 1 siya. So, 3 over 5 times 5 over 3. So, saan ko nakuha si 5 over 3? So, si numerator, dito sa 3 over 5, ginawa ko siyang denominator. Si denominator, ginawa ko siyang numerator. So, 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 over 15 is equal to 1. So, kung ano yung ginawa natin sa denominator or sa divisor, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa dividend. So, 3 times 5 is 15. 7 times 3 is 21. So, 15 over 21 over 1. Or, mawawala na siya. So, 15 over 21 get the lowest term So the answer is 5 over 7 3 over 7 divided by 3 over 5 is equal to 5 over 7 So yung ginawa natin sa divisor kinuha natin yung reciprocal So reciprocal means the product of two numbers is 1 or simply, get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, pag sinabi natin reciprocal, sa numerator, mapupunta sa denominator. Si denominator, mapupunta sa numerator. So, magiging 5 over 3. And then, yung division operation dito ay magiging multiply. So, multiplication in which we multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So, tina natin kung same na sagot. 3 times 5 is 15. 7 times 3 is 21. Simplify. Uh, divide the numerator and the denominator by 3, which is equal to 5 over 7. Next example is 3 over 4 divided by 2 over 5. So, kailangan natin maging 1 yung divisor. So, multiply natin siya by 5 over 2. So, 10 over 10 or 1. Kung ano ginawa natin sa baba, sa divisor, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa dividend. So, 15 over 8. So, dahil 1 na to, mawawala na siya. So, 15 over 8 or 1 and 7 over 8. Or simply, mas madaling gawin to. 3 over 4 divided by 2 over 5. So, balik ta rin natin yung divisor. Si numerator mapupunta sa denominator. Si denominator mapupunta sa numerator. And then, yung division na operation, yung divide magiging times. So, 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 2 is 8. And then, change na din siya. So, pag nahihirapan pa rin mag-mental, divide nyo lang. 15 divided by 8. So, 15 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times 8 is 8. 15 minus 8 is 7. 
Yung 7 na remainder, magiging numerator. Yung 8 na divisor, magiging denominator. So, 15 over 8 is equal to 1 and 7 over 8. So, ito yung gamitin nating process. So, dito, pinakita ko lang na yung divisor, ginagawa natin siyang 1. Our last example is 2 and 7 over 10 divided by 9. So, i-change natin tong mixed number into improper fraction. So, 10 times 2 is 20 plus 7 is 27. Copy the denominator. And then, 9 is a whole number. We're going to put 1. So, 27 over 10 divided by 9 over 1. So, i-change natin si 9 over 1. Kunin natin ang reciprocal. Si 9 na numerator mapupunta sa denominator. Si 1 na denominator mapupunta sa numerator. And then, yung operation ng division magiging multiplication. So, pwede natin i- Apply dito yung cancellation method or cross-canceling. So, ano ang factor ng 9 at 27? 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1. 27 divided by 9 is 3. Then, 10 and 1, wala silang... May common factor nila is 1. So, hindi na natin sila ikakancel. So, 3 times 1 is equal to 3. 10 times 1 is equal to 10. So, this is the final answer. So, meron tayong 4 items para sa inyong quiz. So, divide the following. Number 1, 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 4 equals N. Number 2, 6 over 7 divided by 12 equals N. Number 3, 7 divided by 2 over 3 is equal to N. And number 4, 3 and 2 over 3 divided by 1 and 1 half is equal to N. So, kapag tapos na kayo sa inyong solutions and answers, uh, pakisend sa Facebook account ko, Messenger, para ma-check ko siya at ma-record sa aking class record.